Hi there, fourth graders. I'm going to ask you to challenge yourself this week. We're going to actually be making what I'm going to call a texture landscape. If you look here, I have a bunch of different materials that I looked around the house for. I found things like remote controls and string and all sorts of different items that I was able to find, even earrings and fidget spinners and hair ties and textures that I found on the sides of buckets, etc. And what I'm going to ask you to do is you're going to be doing some crayon rubbings. Crayon is actually the best tool to use for this. I did, you can absolutely use a pencil if that's all you have, but the crayon really seems to work the best. What I want you to do is you're going to be placing the different items underneath a simple sheet of paper and you're going to be rubbing the texture of that item and or the shape to create a landscape. I want you to think of what a landscape looks like. It has a foreground, everything that's closest to us, a middle ground, everything that's kind of somewhere in the middle, and then the further back background. And if you took a look at some of the different slides that I had for landscape and this project itself, you'll see how this image begins to develop just using different textures. Use the different textures to your advantage to show different shapes and space overlap, underlap, figure out what is going to have a certain texture or pattern maybe in it just by dragging that crayon along the side of your artwork. 